So we know that corruption cases are usually really hard to investigate, which is why prosecutors often have to devise new strategies to collect and analyze evidence. But the problem is this can put prosecutors in a dangerous position because often these new strategies might not be grounded in established rules. Therefore, this opens the door for defendants to file appeals based alleging procedural irregularities in their cases. But this raises an important question. Under which conditions do judges actually punish prosecutors for alleged procedural irregularities? Dominant explanations on why, how judges exercise their discretion tend to focus on the ideology of judges as well as in their professional background. In this project, I test a different hypothesis that social movement mobilization in the street in the form of street protests can also affect the way that judges are making decisions. So in this research, I engage in a mixed methods project that uh, does both quantitative and qualitative uh, components. So first I compiled an original data set of judicial decisions in cases of bribe giving and bribe soliciting in the Brazilian Court of Appeals. And lo logistic regression models show that even when we control for potential confounders, the presence of street protests asking for convictions increases the chances that judges will side in favor of prosecutors. A qualitative comparison of two investigations uh, of the same crime, including the same defendants, and similar allegations of procedural problems, but with different outcomes in higher courts, corroborated the results from the statistical models, showing that when protests in the streets uh, against corruption and asking for the conviction of those who are accused of corruption, they can also affect the way that judges are making these decisions. And this is because of two things. When protests shame judges who are releasing people based on procedural problems in their investigations, they are not only questioning the legitimacy of courts, but also questioning the professional reputation of prosecutors. Thank you.